I'm gonna play with the world's smallest hair tools. Look at this hair dryer. <laughs> That's my phone. <laughs> That's the hair dryer. And then this right here is the other mini hair dryer. And then we have the smallest little flat iron. And then of course, the curling iron. So let's just jump into it and start blow drying some of this hair. I am air drying it as much as I can just because not as much heat is gonna come out of this. <laughs> Who knows? Let's open this one up right here. This is from Urban Outfitters and this retails for $12.50. Y'all, this is powered by USB. <laughs> it actually turns on. Look, look at this. <laughs> it's literally, it's cold. I think it's just uh, the room temp, like there's no heat, it's just on and off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it actually blows, but barely. You know what you could actually use this for? You know when you set your face with like a setting, like a setting mist, and then instead of like fanning your face, just use this. I found a use for it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna get anywhere with this. Blow dry my hair, so I really wanted to test this out right here, this cute little travel mini hair dryer. It was super cute, matte has some black little accents, and this retails for an Amazon $17.17. I already have this plugged in, and I think this does have heat. It has only one setting right here for, I think, just turning on. It has a cool shower, cool setting, and then off. gonna take forever to dry. <laughs> Who I'm like getting a workout, yo. Ow, 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 ow. Can you please help me? <laughs> it got stuck. Ow, 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 don't pull it, don't pull it, don't pull it. Should cut it out. Ooh. Is it really bad? <laughs> Mommy's hair got stuck. Ooh, wow. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, it literally got stuck in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It literally sucked in the hair. All right, be very careful. It can suck in through the back. Okay, I think it's almost dry. Yeah, it feels pretty good. We did it, you guys, except for that one little mishap. Getting the hair stuck in there. We need to do a replay of how that happened. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Pretty cool tool. It gets the job done for under 20 bucks. It's super tiny and convenient. I think this is good for if, let's say you're traveling very light, very minimal, just having like a carry-on little bag or even like a weekend overnight bag, this is great. It comes with a little pouch to keep it in there. I think that's a really nifty difty. I think that's really cool. Under $20, you get a cute little hair dryer and I like that it has some heat. It doesn't have as much air flux coming out, but I think if you let your hair air dry for at least 60, 70% and then kind of finish it off, if you need a hair dryer and you have a brush with you to kind of maybe give yourself a quick blowout, I think you could definitely use this. I'm trying to compare it to, let's say something like a T3. I think that one is $80 for the miniature hair dryer, that one is definitely a lot better than this one, but this is under 20 bucks. I think if you need something super cheap, quick, and that will be somewhat effective, I think this is a great option. Okay, let's move on to the hair straightener. I do wanna straighten this hair a tad before going to the curly nine. I wanna see how straight we can get it. So this one right here is by Ava NYC. This is their mini healthy heat ceramic styling iron and then you get a little bag included as well. And this retails for $29.99 on Amazon. There are different colors or just color ways to choose from. I got mint leopard. And the bag actually feels really nice. It gives you instructions. Nice, nice, nice. I like how tiny it is. It's so cute. 
and tiny. Look at this. Like, are you kidding me right now? And the, and the colorway is a really cute. Look at this wow. big thing. The wire is bigger than the actual tool, right? Tools like this are great for travel purposes, you know? But look how tiny this is. This is gonna take me like an hour to do anything. Cute. Your final result is incredibly shiny, silky, static-free, no frizz, manageable hair for unlimited versatility and hairstyling. That's cute. Okay, it's not giving me anything in regards to how high it heats up. So let me quickly check on their website, see if it says anything. Consistent temperature, 400 Fahrenheit for touch-ups and styling on the go. Negative ions smooth the cuticle and eliminate frizz. Far infrared heat is gentle on hair and minimizes heat damage. Far infrared. It doesn't tell me if it's heated up or not, but <laughs> let's go for it. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. Okay, the plates are definitely not smooth. You see how they're like skipping, lagging a little bit? <gasps> but it works! Oh, my little sweetheart, it's working. Look at her. Wow. Look at her. Oh, mommy, so proud of you. I don't know why. I feel like it's a little baby hair tool. And I'm its mommy. Look at this. Oh, look how cute this is. Are you kidding me? I don't know why I feel like such an attachment to this tool now. It works actually really good, right? For one little pass. Look at that. Wow. wow, that's actually really good. Look at that difference. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to take bigger, like thicker sections, but not as wide. Just so they at least fit within the plates. This is insane. This will definitely be really good to get so close to your roots, you know? Especially if you have super textured hair close to your roots. I feel like you could definitely get really close for touch-ups. Maybe not do your entire head, you know what I mean? But at least for touch-ups. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay, the plates are not smooth, but surprisingly, like my hair is not getting pulled. Oh yeah, you can get nice and close to the roots. I'm gonna do half of my head. I'm gonna see how long that's gonna take me. It's so weird doing such tiny little sections. This looks so fake <laughs> in the mirror. I can't believe it's actually working. It definitely is heating my hair up, but when I'm touching it, it's not like burning my finger. So I think you definitely have to go a little bit slower if your hair is curly, textured. But if your hair is naturally straight, you're actually gonna like this for like touch-ups if you want super straight hair, you know? Straight, straight hair. I think I'm going quite fast. To be honest, I did not expect it to be this good. This is like the best thing ever. <laughs> Definitely looks like it's leaving my hair really shiny, right? Can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel like this might be my top five. Literally just get it for your roots and touch-ups because this is blowing my mind how awesome this is. And it definitely doesn't hurt that it's just the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> Wow. 10 minutes, 37 seconds for one side of the head. <laughs> Pretty fast, <laughs> considering what we're working with. But look at the final result on just this side. It's so shiny and smooth. Definitely not the sleekest I've seen, but for what we're working with, I think the overall results are bomb. I am impressed. Moving on to the one inch mini curling iron. Look at this tiny little thing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the tiniest little thing ever. This is by Conair and this retails on Amazon for, oh, this is $17.17. The hair dryer was $20.99. I misread that, I apologize. 
This curling iron also has just one option to turn it on right there has a little light indicator. I'm not sure if it's heated up, but you literally, this is how you use it. <laughs> and this is very painful. It's very sticky and very hard to open up, but at least it's a one inch, one inch wide. So I wanna see what the heat is. So 356 Fahrenheit high heat, that I've never seen before, 356 Fahrenheit. I like how precise they are. It's ceramic technology that creates even heat for faster and gentler style. It's a fast heat up and dual voltage, voltage for worldwide use. It creates beautiful silky curls, adds shine and reduces frizz. I like that. <laughs> it doesn't tell me if it's heated up, it's just, the light is not blinking or anything. So there's no indicator if it's heated. Okay, so should we try this to curl it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go for it. This might take it forever. <laughs> Dual twist. Dual twist. Twist, twist, and then let go. I'm just gonna try to roll it up and see what happens. Somebody with really short hair. Literally, somebody that is like this much hair. Oh, look at that. It's definitely quite frizzy. Oh my gosh. I honestly don't know who this would be good for except for somebody that has super, super short hair. You know? Or maybe you literally just wanna curl your ends and that's all you want. I mean, you definitely can get a nice wave with this. Look at that. Yeah. It does a great job, honestly. But it's just, it's so tiny, it's gonna take you forever to do. But look at that. We did it, we made it work, I like it. So I'm gonna turn this off and then turn the flat iron back on. Turn it back on. I'm gonna wait for it to heat up and I'm gonna try to curl or put a wave in my hair. <laughs> you guys ready for this? And this doesn't have a swivel cord, so it's gonna get stuck. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. Ooh, 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 ooh. gentle, gentle. <laughs> Are you looking at this, babe? <laughs> yes. Tight curl. I was expecting it to be tight. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's try it the other way. Can you do this? Because the plates are so tiny. Oh, it gets stuck. Gotta like kind of basically help it out a little bit. That's a fail. <laughs> the curls are very frizzy with this flat iron. All right, I'm gonna straighten this side and I'll be right back. Just if you're curious, this is Dyson versus Ava NYC. Pretty legit tool. So overall, this video is definitely very fun, entertaining. I didn't think a lot of these tools or pretty much any tool would be that great, but this little tool right here, this little baby hair straightener slash flat iron, I'm blown away at how much I like this little tool right here. This is definitely not a tool to straighten your hair all the time. This is definitely more for touch-ups and styling, like they said, on the go. This tool is great for those that need help getting really close to the roots and it does a great job at that. It's phenomenal. But even, I just did it for the sake of it, just to see how long it would take me to strain just the one side of my head and what the results would be. And I'm honestly really, really, really impressed and so happy that it performed really well. It performed at a higher level than so many hair straighteners on the market. This tool is really great. Like I said, if you're in the market for something to get really close to your roots, definitely pick up this little baby right here. The hair dryers, I think they're 
fun, especially that super mini one. This is definitely more of a novelty item that I think somebody would enjoy. Let's say if you have a hairdresser in your life and you wanna give her a little gift or him, I think they would really enjoy this and find something fun from it and entertaining and just, is that, I think it's honestly a pretty thoughtful gift if you have a hairdresser in your life. I think they would really enjoy it. And then this right here, it's definitely a pretty cool hair dryer for traveling with, but I feel like most hotels, they provide a hair dryer that's full size and it's a lot powerful and stronger, but this you could carry with you like in your purse, like I said, an overnight bag weekender bag, something to take you with you to the gym, something tiny like this that's not gonna take up too much space. And then this little curling iron, you can definitely make it work, but honestly just go for the full size curling irons. <laughs> this is way too tiny, it's gonna take way too much time. Honestly, if anything, this could be good for people with super short hair that just kinda want a little bend or a little lift by the roots or maybe with your bangs if you're trying to do something like that or like a little flip towards the end. But this is definitely not for somebody that has longer hair or a lot of hair. But like I said, again, I feel like this is definitely more of a novelty item, if anything. You guys, I'm gonna leave it there. This was so entertaining for me and I'm so happy we actually found an item that I think a lot of people will find great use out of. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me and the world's smallest hair tools. And I'll see the next one very soon. Bye.